Hi everyone, welcome to tutorial 31 of our introductory Python for image processing tutorial series. In this tutorial, I'm gonna talk about Unsharp Mask and despite its name, it's used for sharpening. And I'm pretty sure you've used it as part of, uh, for example, ImageJ or Zen. And in fact, let me quickly demonstrate it in Zen and then come back and talk about how it actually works. And then we'll finish this video off by implementing it in Python. So quickly switching to Zen, I have Zen in the background here. And by the way, in case you wonder how to get Zen, uh, go ahead and type Zen Light Zeiss, Light L-I-T-E. And typically it's the first link that you're going to uh, find. And this is again a free software that you can use uh, for your image processing. And of course it can be enhanced by additional modules. So here I have my .czi image opened. Again, this is a multi-channel image. So to apply Unsharp mask, all I need to do is just search for Unsharp as part of, uh, as, uh, uh, you know as part of my method and then unsharp is right here I'm going to select it and of course you can define any other parameters if you want But let's go ahead and apply it on our input image and when I hit apply instantaneously There you go the sharpened image. So the prepackaged software is great. I mean something like Zen that can handle multiple you know uh, scenes and multi channels and all of that it makes your life easy but the goal of this tutorial is to learn how to do it in python so let's understand the fundamentals okay so getting back to the presentation here uh, i would like to show you exactly what's happening in the background when you hit that unsharp button so first of all it takes your original okay and then it subtracts a blurred version from the original so it takes the original applies for example a gaussian blur which means it actually blurs the image this is where the term unsharp actually comes from so it takes this original minus blurred image okay and then it adds it back to the original image and as a user, you can scale this image. You can say, okay, I want to enhance this image by uh, a multiplication factor of two. And the resultant of this is your unsharped image. And I hope this is straightforward enough. If you look at this equation, your unsharped image is original image plus some amount that you're going to tell. It could be one or it could be two multiplied by your original minus blurred. This is giving your unsharped image. Okay, and its implementation in uh, Python is very simple and straightforward. So let's actually switch to our uh, Spider IDE so I can show you how to implement Unsharp Mask in both OpenCV and Scikit-Image. Again, it's up to you which one you would uh, like to use. The result would be identical. But before actually applying this uh, pre-configured uh, library, let's actually do it manually. What did I say? Unsharped image is original plus amount times original minus blurred. So here what I'm trying to do is, again, these are all the libraries that we uh, want to use. In fact, let's save this unsharp mask for later. So first I'm reading an image, okay? And we are reading an image by using io.imread. Again, we looked at this uh, in the last few tutorials anyhow. And the image I'm going to re uh, read is a sandstone uh, you know image which has been blurred by two sigma artificially blurred by applying a two sigma Gaussian blur okay that's the input image I'm reading here and I'm reading it as float because most of the time if you want to apply scikit image filters uh, you may be forced to convert your images into float okay so I'm converting my images into float here again please experiment please try by not doing float and then see what error message it's going to show up Okay, and then understand. Sometimes these error messages can be very cryptic. So please try to do this uh, otherwise, uh, I mean, without images float and see what uh, error you're going to see. Okay, so first I'm gonna do Gaussian image by applying a Gaussian, okay? We'll talk about Gaussian in the next tutorial, but I'm just applying a Gaussian right here. And as next step, I'm doing image minus Gaussian and I'm multiplying it by two, which is that part, right? My original image minus the Gaussian multiplied by whatever that amount. In this case, I decided my amount to be two. And finally, my unsharpened image is original plus that, which is basically my image plus this. So uh, we're doing unsharpening by hand here, almost. And I'm going to plot it. So let's go ahead and first look at our uh, original image. So our original image looks like this. Well, looks like it cannot import unsharp mask and let's see why. First of all, let's just import SK image. It works okay. So how come it's not working? So let's actually test our version. 
and the way you do that is sk image dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore and then you'll see it's 0140. I believe the latest version is 017 as of April 2020. So let's go ahead and pip install uh, uh, this version again. So again it's pip install and remember this is scikit image not sk image okay so when you do this hopefully it'll upgrade it to the latest version because sometimes uh, some of these functions are available in the latest version and sometimes the existing functions are uh, you know they call depreciated which means they're not available any longer in uh, when you upgrade the system so let's go ahead and look at our scikit image version it still says 0.14.0 so let's go ahead and try pip install scikit image except let's just do upg already upgrade so hopefully this will bring us to the latest uh, version Okay, so let's see if it's actually uh, upgraded. I think it should have uh, because it says here uninstalling scikit image 014 uh, and successfully uninstalled and it should have uh, install, installed the latest one. If you don't do the upgrade command, if you just do pip install, it first looks at, okay, do you have it? If you have it, then it says, okay, requirement already met. So let's go ahead and check if it upgraded. Uh, so it actually brought me to 0 15 uh, 0 and let's actually see if uh, we can actually import unsharp mask in this version of course you can actually give a specific version if you want so yeah so unsharp mask seems to work so sorry for that small detour we may have to upgrade it uh, later on but we'll get to that in a minute so uh, i mean in one of our future tutorials so let's get back now so let's run this one more time again what are we trying to do uh, trying to uh, perform a Gaussian uh, image uh, smoothing and then uh, uh, original image minus Gaussian image multiplied by two and then uh, 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 our original image plus uh, our amount multiplied by this original minus blurred. So here, this is our original image when we run this, okay? And uh, if you want to look at image two, which is our original minus gaussian image multiplied by two as you can see this kind of actually enhances the edges a little bit okay and finally our unsharped image is image three and let's go ahead and plot it and here it is our unsharped image okay so uh, this is how you would do it in a manual way but luckily we don't have to do any of that all we need to do is uh, let's actually copy and paste this part of the code so all you need to do to uh, use unsharped mask is just from scikit image filters import unsharp mask and again apparently you need to have at least version number 15 or later to uh, have this unsharp mask available and then all you need to do is unsharp image is unsharp mask on your original image in this case you can change your radius and again radius defines the amount of blurring because first it applies this Gaussian blur, right? So radius defines the amount of blurring and this amount is the multiplication factor I showed you earlier, which is we multiplied by two times, right? So combined these and this together will define the amount of sharpening. And here I'm just plotting the results. So don't, don't worry about this part. And I covered how to do plotting in my previous tutorial anyway. So you should be a bit comfortable in terms of how I'm doing this uh, part here. So that's it. Eventually it comes down to this one single line. That's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and run this. And there you go. So this is our input image and this is our unsharpened image, obviously very well sharpened. So this is how you use unsharpening to sharpen your images in Python. Just one single line over there. But I hope with our exercise, you know what is going on in the background when you apply unsharp mask. And I apologize for this uh, scikit image thing, but I took that as an opportunity to educate you on how to verify what version of specific package do you have and how to up upgrade it and in fact if you just do pip install scikit image equals equals to 0170 you would have automatically upgraded to uh, the latest version but we'll do that again in one of the tutorials in future so in the next one let's actually cover gaussian smoothing or gaussian denoising thank you very much